Hello, it's Automation Coach, and in this video, we are going to use make.com to automatically send an email via Gmail. If you're new to make.com, you might be on this homepage. So once you've signed up to make.com, which is free, this is the page that you'll land on. You want to go to scenarios and create a new scenario up here. The first step that we need to do is to connect make.com to Gmail. And in this video, I'm only going to talk about Gmail, but there are other email options available. And when I mean Gmail, I mean the Gmail platform. So if you have a company email address that is used via Gmail, that will work perfectly too. So you just search Gmail and here it is. And once you've selected it, you can select any of these. Don't worry for now. An option will come up up here asking you to connect your account. And you can see I've already connected, but you will need to press this add button and then you will need to sign in with Google and give permissions. So you might call this, for example, uh, Google Mail connection, right? But a very important point to make, if your email address is a company email address, i.e. it's, for example, David Smith at shoebargains.com, you'll be able to sign in with Google and carry on very easily. If your Gmail address is davidsmith at gmail.com or davidsmith at googlemail.com, there are additional steps you need to follow. See this warning message here. So if you are on at gmail.com or at googlemail.com, you need to follow this guide in order to connect it up, which is quite complicated, but this tutorial is good. And if you follow it step by step, it does work. Now on my school community under Master AI for Marketing, if you go to send emails automatically, look for this, how to connect personal Gmail to make.com. And there's a tutorial video here showing you exactly how to do it step by step. So this is for people who have gmail.com or googlemail.com email addresses. In order to continue, you must do these steps first in order to connect your Google Gmail to make.com. Once you have done that, you can then continue to connect it to make.com and it is worth it. So here you can see I have now connected Automation Coach and here I've got a module that says watch emails. I'm actually going to change that now. I'm going to delete that and I'm going to add another one. So Gmail and I'm going to say mm, create a draft. And here, just for this tutorial, we're just going to draft an email. The first thing it's saying is where do you want to save the draft? So I'm going to say save it in drafts. Who do you want to draft the email to? Well, I'm going to send it to myself. The subject will be draft from make.com and the content will be hi, it's automation coach. And that's it. For now, I'm going to press OK. And then I'm going to press this button here, which will run the scenario. You can see this means it's running and a green tick is a good sign. This pop up shows up, which looks quite complicated, but it's saying this is the input, the instructions we told it to do. And this is the output, what we get. Now let's head to our Gmail and see whether it worked or not. So if I open up Gmail and then we go to drafts, we can see here the draft has been saved and that's worked perfectly. This time what we're going to do is we're actually going to send an email. So if I click here, go back to Gmail and I'm going to say send an email, it's the same things again. So I'm going to send an email to myself I'm going to press OK and I'm going to run that. This means it's working. Green tick. That looks good. Let's go back to Gmail, go to our inbox and there we can see it. Hi, it's Automation Coach. Let's see if make.com works. And it does. Perfect. You might be wondering, what's the point of this? This is just the first step of automation. In the next videos, I'm going to show you how you can schedule an email. For example, maybe I want this to be sent every 15 minutes for some reason. And in another video, I'm going to show you how you can 
send emails from a list on Google Sheets. So for example, you might send an email to 100 different people, and then you can start to create more complicated automations to send emails, for example, using AI to personalize them and more.